Welcome to the Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast with Daniel White III. We are glad that you have joined us as Daniel White III encourages us to pray without ceasing throughout the day, every day, for the glory of God. Good morning and welcome to another Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast. Today I would like to begin by sharing with you a poem titled Prayer is the Key by M.S. Lowndes. Why does it seem we often give in to temptations that come our way? It's often so hard to say no to the flesh Though we try, we forget, unfortunately, to pray. For this is the key to unlock the door to overcoming temptation and sin. We must keep in God's word and diligent in prayer and remain faithful unto him. The simple purpose of this broadcast is to motivate you, encourage you, and exhort you to just pray. Simply pray. Just do it for the glory of God. Whether your flesh feels like doing it or not, pray. Whether you are sleepy or not, pray. Whether you're in a rush or not, pray. This radio broadcast is not necessarily for people who already know the secret and power of prayer and who actually practice genuine prayer. Uh, for some know the secret and power of prayer, but they don't pray. And we have many who like to talk a good game about prayer, but they don't pray. And uh, the proof is in the pudding. Prayer and your praying will show up in your life. Genuine prayer on a regular basis is what uh, people need to be doing. Pray every morning and every day. Pray throughout the day as the Holy Spirit moves you and reminds you. Rather, it is uh, this broadcast that is, is for those who may find it difficult to pray. They may be young in the Lord and don't understand the secret and power of prayer. If I can get you to just pray, I believe many wonderful things will begin to happen for you, your family, and whatever God has called you to do. I am very confident of that. Even the simplest form of prayer reaps great benefits. We do not pray based upon, ladies and gentlemen, our subjective feelings. We pray rather based upon objective facts in the Word of God. In fact, we're going to go to the Word of God right now. Our prayer motivator verse for today is Matthew twenty-one twenty-two, which reads, And all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive now if that don't motivate you if that does not encourage your heart I don't know what will and all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer believing ye shall receive our thought for today is that prayer is an absolute necessity in the Christian's life uh, prayer is like breathing for the Christian. Our thought for today is that prayer is an absolute necessity 
in the Christian's life. You can bank on that. Our prayer motivator quote for today, which the thought bounces from, is from E.M. Bounds. He said these words, We can do nothing without prayer. All things can be done by importunate prayer. That is the teaching of Jesus Christ. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Our prayer motivator devotional for today is titled, Has Time Run Out for America? From J. Gordon Henry, The Modern Day Prince of Prayer. Uh, the uh, man of God who has encouraged thousands not only to pray but how to pray he says these words is it too late for America I do not believe so it is absolutely certain that when we do what God tells us to do that he will do what he said he will do. Amen. He will hear from heaven, forgive our sins, and heal our land. There is a prayer movement unparalleled in this century, even now today, that is sweeping across America and around the world. In fact, for the first time, in America, the global day of prayer will be held. Virtually thousands are giving themselves to prayer in various cities. God is moving upon the hearts of people to pray to Him. I have just released my new book titled, A Praying Time. If there ever was a time to pray, dear friends, that time is now. A few years ago, the Supreme Court ruled by an eight to one vote in the West Side Community Schools versus Mergens, uh, versus rather Mergens that students in public secondary schools who wish to form religious clubs may have the same equal access to school facilities and privileges as students in other non-curriculum related activities. God's children have been praying for the Supreme Court for many years whose decisions have closed God out of so much of our public life over the past 30 years. This is certainly a reminder that things can change through prayer. God can make things happen. Let's commit ourselves afresh and anew, therefore, to pray daily for the United States of America, to pray for our present president, to pray for our land, your land and mine. Let us ask God's blessings to rest upon us and give us a spiritual awakening like never before that would sweep across this nation and around the globe before he comes back so that millions can be ushered into the kingdom of God with us beyond anything we have ever seen or known where sin abounds amen grace does much more bound no it is not too late for America somebody ought to shout amen right there wherever you are now it is time for us not to just talk about prayer, but to actually pray. Please remember that the announcer will provide the information for you to send in your prayer request at the end of this broadcast. We'll be glad to pray for you, and we will pray for you by name every day. This is our promise to you. We, uh, You and I both know many Christians who are talking about they're going to pray. They, they, they will pray for us, and they don't even uh, remember our name. But our promise to you is that we will pray for you each and every day until you tell us to stop. 
Now, friend, please join me in prayer. Holy Father God, we pray in the holy name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We individually confess our own sins, failures, and faults unto you. For Jesus Christ's sake, Lord, please forgive us of our sins. Wash and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We pray that you would empty us of ourselves afresh and anew today and fill us, Lord, with the fullness and the power of your Holy Spirit to do your work and your will today. As we have just been reminded, Lord, help us to commit ourselves to praying for our country so that uh, by your grace you would forgive us of our sins and heal our land. We pray also that you would lead, guide, direct, and bless all pastors, all evangelists, all missionaries, all church leaders, all deacons. Use them for your glory, praise, and honor in these last days to bring about a new awakening in this nation and around the world. We pray also, Lord, for the President of the United States and all governmental leadership, that you would lead them, guide them, direct them, give them wisdom, Lord, to run this country in the way that you see fit. The Holy Father God, we pray now for the three individuals who have sent in their prayer requests. We pray, Lord, for Brenda in Houston. Help her husband and three children to come to know your Savior before she uh, dies and goes on home to be with you. Deliver her oldest daughter from the negative attitude she has towards herself and her family. Lord, we pray for Nancy in Germany. Please give her a financial breakthrough and marital restoration. Uh, give, Lord, your protection to her family and children. Help her son to be used for your kingdom. His name is Francis. Lord, we pray for Virginia. Please heal her of pneumonia, lymphoma, cancer, and blood clots. Bring her daughter Gwen back to her and bless her son with a job and a house to live in. Holy Father God, we pray now for the following people who have accepted you into their hearts, who have trusted you as their Savior. Through our ministry here, Gospel Light Society International, we pray, Lord, that you would confirm them in the faith and have them to grow in the faith to become the spirit-filled Christians that you want them to be. We pray specifically for Ariel in Los Angeles, California. We pray for Johanna in Australia. And we pray for Juanita in Pretoria, South Africa. Now, Lord, we pray for the following people who have been saved also uh, already for a while but who have committed their lives to you we, re we rejoice with them in this decision and we pray that they will keep uh, their commitments to you and truly rededicate their lives to you and we pray that you would strengthen them in the faith and encourage them and help them to do that we pray specifically for Elizabeth in Germany Jaco in South Africa and Clifford in Haiti. Lord, we pray that you lead God and direct these your people and hundreds and thousands uh, more that we pray for uh, as well in the way that you want them to go. Bless them, provide for them, and protect them and use them for your glory, praise, and honor in these last days. In Jesus Christ's holy name we pray, and for his sake, amen. Now, dear friend of mine, if you are listening to this broadcast and you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, please notice these verses. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9 and 13, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. 
the Bible says in verse 13, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. A friend of mine, if you are willing to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior, if you realize that you are a sinner, you have broken God's law, and you need a Savior, and you're willing to believe that Jesus Christ died for you, was buried, and rose again, please pray with me this very simple prayer. Heavenly Father, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done bad things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life forever. Amen. Now, dear friend, if you have accepted Jesus Christ into your heart today as your Lord and Savior, please feel free to contact us so that we can send you a free copy of our pamphlet titled, What to Do After You Enter Through the Door. This will help you get started in your Christian life. Until next time, remember, dear friend, pray, think, do. God bless you.